Go. All right, we've got um, we've got the project laid out for the 1464 class, the wood structures, project two. We've got our jig here um, for our layout, all our supplies, uh, different thicknesses, uh, uh, plywood for for the, for, no, for the nose rib and for gussets. Yep, nose rib and gussets. And we've got our um, quarter inch um, strips for the um, structure top and metal. bottom of the structure. And, um, of course, this isn't the right glue, but we've got wood glue. Um, as far as I know, it'd be a two part epoxy for, for wood. Um, Got it traced out. We're gonna start with cutting out. Uh, what is it called? The nose. Nose rib. Nose and we rib. already went through our jig, and we kind of fixed. We kind of fixed some of the things on our jig, and kind of checked the yeah. spacing, so we knew we knew that all of our pieces would work. Um, yeah. So we're gonna end up cutting that out. Uh, we'll end up cutting that out and sanding it, getting it close to finish. Uh, and then we'll show you what that looks like. Cool. All right, so for the next step in this project, we've got this, um, the nose section of the rib, all cut out to shape. Um, in doing that, we used a similar shaped um, piece and used it as a template to draw um, to draw form onto our board here. And then we eventually, however that was, we cut it out, notched the edges. Right. Those edges are notched out for these top and bottom parts. And they are also cut to, at an angle to fit in so they lock in place. And then as this forms around, my next step will be to trim the edge here so that we can line up both the top and the bottom pieces. This bottom piece is also trimmed to fit right in there like that. Not quite perfect, but they'll both meet at the end there and have a small gusset to hold them together. Perfect. All right, so we've got the top and bottom sections of our rib here. Um, and to get them trimmed, we put them into place, bent them around, uh, at least for the top one. And then at the bottom here, you can see I've got marker still on there, and uh, I marked the two edges that needed to be trimmed, got them to fit, and then with the bottom section, I uh, did the same exact thing, got it into place, brought it to the end, marked it, and then just a little bit of rework to get it to fit into place. So then now you tell them I will put some glue in there, we'll kind of glue it. Yep, we'll glue each joint together, um, top and bottom of the front and back of this um, rib section, and then from there we'll move on. Perfect. All right, for the uh, gusset on the trailing edge of this rib, we took a sheet of plywood and we marked our length and height on the triangle that would be it, trimmed it out, um, and now we're ready to glue it and nail it down, and we've got these, what do you call the connecting really? sections, and we've got angles on all of them that are all different, so. And then I don't think we showed them that we glued, um, we glued the... Right, and these are now glued, top and bottom of the front, and the trailing edge. So now, take our glue, if it hasn't started to dry yet. 
and I will paint onto these strips. to avoid making too much of a mess. Match that on this side. Boy, that, that glue dries quick, doesn't it? Yeah. Once this is in place, we'll be free to nail it down and let that cure to a good joint. And then remind the nails. Uh, the nails are purely to hold the gusset plates down. All the all the strength and all the structure from this comes from the glue. Uh, so at some point, if you wanted to, you could pull these nails out. But the nails are just strictly there to hold uh, the gusset plates in place. vertical support for the rib here and we've got them all cut to, cut to length. Most of them are already glued in and so yeah for the final step on getting those in just a little glue and pop it in place and on from there. Then the next step will be probably to cut these cut these diagonal trusses. We've got one more vertical here. Oh, one more vertical and then we'll cut the diagonal ones. <laughs> Alright, so we've got all the vertical ones in their places. And now we've just got the uh, four diagonal ones left to do. And I've started we've started with the uh, first one with cutting a diagonal on one side and then the other and then just test fitting it. Sometimes they only fit a certain way, so yeah. be a little detailed on it. And then we've got three more to go and we'll glue those in and then move on to the uh, gussets. So so Josh finished up all those diagonal pieces. A look at the nose here. He went ahead. Um, he went ahead after uh, gluing in all the diagonal pieces. Then took our thin plywood and made gussets uh, for every corner. So we went through here. Uh, all these gussets, they're laid out where they go. And now he's in the process of putting a little bit of glue on the gusset plate, a little bit of glue on the on the actual rib there. Yeah, once and it's then uh, when he... it's all put together now. And finish up with a couple of nails. So now, Josh, are these nails for structure? <laughs> no, these are to clamp the gussets to the uh, the rest of the rib um, to l allow that that glue joint to set up. And then once once that glue joint is set up, then that's the final. Right. So as we learned uh, earlier in the project, all of the all of the strength in wood structures comes from the glue joints. Um, so these nails, 
which we're going to leave in there. I mean, a person could pull them out when the, when the glue cures, but these nails are just holding our gusset plates uh, in, in place and getting a good solid contact. So what we're really looking for is that good glue joint. glue than I want to see squeezing out of that corner, but I'll add a little bit. They want a nail. I'm trying for one in every major section, so all of the small pieces are nailed to the gusset, and the gussets. Yeah, so that looks good. And then now me and Josh are just gonna go through and glue all these uh, all these gussets on here, and then nail them in. And then we'll kind of show you what it looks like when that's all done. So Josh went through and we glued uh, glued all these gusset plates in here. Put a couple nails in each one just to hold them. Now Josh is working on the uh, on the very last one here. So again, the nails just kind of help hold the gust plates, the glue cures, and the glue will hold everything together. So now every gusset plate is glued and nailed. So now all that would be left is let this cure, let, let all the glue cure, probably, uh, probably overnight is a fair assessment. Let all this glue cure. Uh, then what I would do is pop this rib, uh, pop this rib out of the jig that it's in. And in some cases it might take a, a knife or a putty knife to kind of get in. There might be some areas where the glue kind of kind of is going to hold the rib into the jig but you pop that rib out of there flip it over and then put a gusset on each other side on the other side um, then all there is to it is uh, varnish it or protect it with some kind of uh, some kind of weatherproofing and then this one when we're done with it and this is what you would do kind of take take it to the belt sander and just kind of hit all these outside edges and make it make it nice and smooth and uniform. So that's all there is to it as far as uh, rib construction. Did I miss anything, Josh, or did I get everything? Nope, that's, uh, that's it for this one. Okay, perfect.